Meantime, the fighting intensifies in the latest conflict. Tonight, we know at least 24 Americans are dead, dozens still missing. President Joe Biden is taking steps to reaffirm U.S. support for Israel as House Republicans take a big step toward electing a new speaker. NBC's Jane Gray has more on all of this tonight. In what is, by Washington standards, a surprisingly fast move, House Republicans have agreed, for now, that Louisiana Representative Steve Scalise will move forward as a candidate for speaker. Obviously, we uh, have a very important vote. It's really, really important that this Congress get back to work. We select a speaker, go to the House floor, get to 218, and then get the House working again. With the full House in session, Scalise needs a simple majority to be elected leader. In a secret ballot behind closed doors today, he reportedly had the support of 113 of his Republican peers, which means this legislative tug of war is still far from over. And adding pressure to the politics. For the fifth day now, rockets fill the air between Gaza and Israel, a fight that could soon shift to the ground. With Israeli tank battalions gathering along the border and more than 300,000 soldiers shifting from reserve to active duty. U.S. support growing in the region. American warships and fighter jets now in place in the eastern Mediterranean. The first shipment of American weapons and ammunition landing in Israel overnight. And we now know a team of U.S. military technical experts experienced in hostage recovery are on the ground as advisors with reports of dozens of American hostages in Gaza. This attack uh, was uh, a campaign of pure cruelty. Not, not just hate, but for cruelty against the Jewish people. President Biden meeting this afternoon with Jewish community leaders at the White House promising continued support. But additional funding and resources won't come without congressional approval. And that can't happen until there's a new Speaker of the House. Jay Gray, NBC News, Washington.